That big old quakey's growing right through the roof. Like, I don't think it's tipped over. Well, it was a doctor's house. I want to say 30s, 20s, 30s. Oh, there's something metal down there. It's a little stinky in there. This is a little porch. Huh, the floor doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's bad. I feel like this was like a Pardon? mud room porch thing or something. It's got a dirt floor. Well, it looks like this end. There's something metal on the other side. Like this must have been like their woodshed or something. Room with this guy. Oh, I know. Well, shoot, the 1 by 12 is just on that piece of roof that fell down. Watch for nails. I mean, it's amazing, really. The second story is still. I'm being a chicken. Watch those ceiling joists. Oh yeah. I don't think I want to try those stairs. Pretty rough. Oh, the inside of the fireplace. I think I'm going to go around, mostly because I'm scared. Okay. I don't want my gross vehicle weight to bust me through the floor out here. What do you see? Oh, what there was some door hardware. Oh, really? But that's all that's left. Where the knob goes? Mm -hmm. I thought that lock would be cool, but it's gone. Like this place. Chris would set bob trap, bobcat traps in it. Are you going to go out that other side? I'm going to walk around.
Oh, hey, I found the piece to the stove top. Crazy. It's just pretty cool. Oh, no way. Found the top to the stove with the chrome on it. Uh, I wish we could get up to that second story. No, I don't. Well, I know you don't, but the gables are sweet. Yeah. He poked around in it and he reached up above the roof, ceiling, and felt the leather case and he pulled it down and it had a Colt Army single six in it. Really? And the serial number was early. Oh, I bet. Holy smokes. What the heck is that? What the heck? It's the leg. I found the stove leg. It's broken though. That's cool. Are you still alive in there? Okay. Salvaged a little keyhole. Oh, cool. Gotta tighten up my. If you find bathtub legs, I need two bathtub legs for that old bathtub. Bath well, I found a stove leg. I don't know how much you can do with one stove leg on your bathtub, but you never know. Really? Three, three, two, three, glory. Five, six, eight, S, E, R. Huh. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, what's that? No way. I think I'm going to bring this one home. What is it? I mean, obviously, it's an old car. Huh. 
Is it a tractor? Because this is a... No, this is an old model A. Well, look at the gearbox in the front. This is the front. Oh. Well, yeah, that makes sense. This is the dash. And this, see this steering wheel, held a wooden steering wheel. This was throttle. This was probably retard advanced. do something with that dash. That steering wheel's got one ear broke off. Yeah, yeah right here. Just bent. Oh. Towels. Steering gear. Is all that's holding that in. This is the tie rod end. I have a Leatherman. How long do you think it'll take to cut through that with a Leatherman? 14 years. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, give or take. It's cool. I wonder if that steering wheel is supposed to be like that. No. No, I mean that ear, because I think that's cast. It would have broke off. It doesn't look bent, it looks purpose. Somebody was trying to reach it out of here. Huh? You're gonna fall on your butt. I'm gonna probably laugh. And tell me a thing. I'm sure the cows rubbed on it. See, I moved that tie rod. Isn't that amazing? What if we just tuck those pins out and that right here, those little keepers and those castle nuts? These? Yeah. It's, I think the shaft goes clear through it. Then why would that be on there? We had an electric impact. Didn't, who, who did I see that had one? Oh, Nick had one. Oh, he packs them everywhere. An electric impact. These three bolts right here get hard enough to just twist them off and you'd have the whole thing in your hand. 